This is at Siena School. What's going on here? I'm gonna go. We're here for the fifth grade um, grand round. <laughs> Grand Rounds University of Washington Medical Center. Created by Dr. Dr. Baird, pulmonologist. Dr. Baird, pulmonologist. Dr. Rhodes, gastroenterologist. Dr. Zan, neurologist. Dr. Kirsch, orthopedic surgeon. Dr. Tom Baird. <laughs> Patient case study, Jason Simmons. Jason, a 59-year-old male, was rushed to the emergency room coughing and gasping for air. After providing him with oxygen, he was able to talk. We found out that he has smoked one pack of cigarettes every day since he was in high school. Recently, he started vaping because he thinks that it won't hurt his lungs anymore. He has lost 15 pounds in the previous month, has a high temperature of 101.9 degrees, and has a pulse of 108. In coughing and gasping, we knew to look more into the respiratory system. We used some diagnostic tools to look into it. We used an MRI scan and an x-ray. This is our x-ray on the screen. Diagnosis. We concluded most likely fatal unless treated properly. Our treatment plan is we, that Jason Simmons should refer to an oncologist, which is a doctor that diagnoses or treats cancer. Our medic, he should use a medication of chemotherapy. It treats, it stops the cancer cells from growing by either divide, keeping them from dividing or stopping or killing them. Also, do not do strenuous activities to exhaust your lungs. Three practical steps to improve, to improve health. Number one, stop smoking can um, slow cancer's growth. Step two, get a counselor. They can help cope with your stress and urge to smoke. They can also help make a plan for you to quit smoking. Step three, improve your health overall. More than 84% of women and 90% of men with due diagnosis of lung cancer either smoked or used to smoke. Only about 10% of people get lung cancer without mm. cancer have not smoked cancer. Out of that 1,600 people starting their first cigarette, about 1,440 of that 1,600 get lung cancer in the U.S. yearly. Almost 72% of people with lung cancer die, so 12,004. Problems about smoking. Smoking at an early age can be fatal. Smoking damages almost every organ in the body. Smokers usually live 10 years less than non-smokers. These are some of the sources that we used for our patient study. I am Dr. Rusin, the infectious disease specialist. I'm Dr. Brennan, the orthopedic. We are sadly missing Dr. Kefkar and Bill Chuck. The doctors are Christopher McEthan, Melville, orthopedic surgeon, Addie Gonser, gastroenterologist, Eric Cathcart, cardiologist, and last but not least, David Bragan, neurologist. Marcy Hen. Oh. Marcy Henshaw is a 42 year old female. She is 282 high when she came in. It was 206. Her temperature was 100.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which indicated a fever. Um, when she arrived at Harvard Medical Center, Center, she complained about her feet tingling whenever she got to move. Uh, glucosic levels with type 2 diabetes. We can include this because of her laboratory blood tests and junky snacks that are high in simple sugars. She should there is some tool to monitor her blood sugar too. A helpful tool that you can get to monitor blood sugar. Fun facts about type 2 diabetes. Most people get type 2 diabetes at the average age of 45. Only 35% to 45%. To this is individual tables where they have the different organs and setups for the human body. I tried to get some uh, good questions answered you know, about my medical condition. But, uh, they kept referring me to other tables. Thank you.
Surrounding the lungs, this is the outside of the lungs. Then the alveoli are the air sacs, the tiny air sacs inside the lungs. These are the bronchial tubes, are the toothpicks. And then uh, the bronchioles are the smaller ones branching off the toothpicks. These are the bronchioles. These are the bronchioles. Bronchial tube and bronchioles. And those are the same things as what's here? Yes. This this long tube is what are these. So that's pretty impressive. And actually. then these are so <laughs> micro. And then you have like all the tiny sprinklers in there that are Air and carbon and air and nitrogen. I just have to drive home the no uh, Nitrogen and then it turns nitrogen into nitrogen. What's this? The diaphragm? Yeah. This is the diaphragm. It pulls air into lungs by using negative force. Nice. And so what school were you guys? Uh, Yale University. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, have you went to Yale? Yeah. So you say, you know, it's bad for smoking, but when I was a kid, I used to eat cigarette butts. Was that bad? <laughs> They'll probably give you gastric cancer. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. What is that? Though? I'm asking your professional opinion. You need to go ask. I think he's avoiding. You need to go oh, ask the okay. table. You need to go ask the yellow table over there. When you're a baby, it's a small spinal cord, and when you are older, it grows until you are below a certain height. And you How come you don't have a lab coat? Because you're a psychologist or something, or you don't need to, you don't have any blood splattering on you and stuff, like these other people that are all dressed up. <laughs> so what, did you uh, put this together, Roman? I put this together. What does it mean? It's a neuron, which is uh, basically what sends messages through your body. The makes files. It what? It sends messages through your body. Like a telegraph? Basically. All right, but I guess, does anybody know what a telegraph is these days? I do. Really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, the digestive system. You know about the lungs and smoking? Yeah. I told them I ate cigarette butts when I was a kid if that was bad, and so they told me to come here. But is that bad? Or or maybe it'll be out there already. Yeah. <laughs> So there wouldn't be any smoke coming out, would there? Because I, it, they, they were out when I ate them. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's yeah. A blood clot. Um, basically, it's when like a uh, plaque builds up in your veins, which makes it harder for the blood to go through. Oh, okay. How does that happen? Um, that's a good one, guys. Uh, How does that plaque build up to create the blood? It looks really nice. Cerebellum? Yes. Oh, I couldn't recognize it. Oh, did it get smashed? I don't know. Your version of Cerebellum? Oh, you got the lobes? That's good. Maybe we just all work with the concussion. 